Uh, Ms. Lyons, I'm going to, I'm just going to start um, by asking a, a couple of questions with some examples that, that I have here. The Canadian Foreign Service Institute either produces or, or shares with the Department of Foreign Affairs um, what I see here is about 80 pages of training materials on anti-racism. And I, I, I start specifically with Global Affairs Canada. I know that you have a long esteemed career in, uh, at, uh, at foreign affairs, but 80 pages of anti-racism um, and all of the terms you can imagine and all of the uh, sort of myths and facts um, that uh, frankly, in my opinion, in some cases invert history but not a single mention of anti-Semitism in any of these documents. So, I mean, the question is, is do you really think that the government of Canada can combat anti-Semitism if it fails to mention it in its own anti-racism training documents? Okay, I wasn't sure if you were saying you had a couple of questions. Um, th thank you very much for that question. Um, Look, I think one of the things that has become obvious, particularly since October 7th, but frankly, I felt it was obvious before I took the job, that there's a lot of hard work to be done everywhere in our public service, federally, provincially, municipally, in businesses, in uh, civil society, and most certainly in the universities, as we've heard this morning and you heard previously, in making sure that people understand anti-Semitism, that the right training is in place, that the IRA definition is better understood and implemented. And that is exactly what we're working on doing right now, Madam Chair, both in my office and within Her the Department of Heritage. Every one of the ministries, we are looking at the training that they have in place. We are working with the Canadian School on uh, Public Service on ensuring that we have got those training programs. You're quite right to point it out that what we have now is sorely inadequate and has to change dramatically. And I believe, sincerely, that we have the commitment of all ministers to make that happen. And I can assure you, we will if we don't. So... I'll, I'll, I'll talk about another another piece. This is a, an anti-racism let's talk. This is a participant handbook. And I use this example because it's about 64 pages and it's still offered by Treasury Board as a training manual. So this participant handbook up until well after October 7th had no mention of anti-Semitism. Now it currently does have a mention of anti-Semitism. It's been put in after October 7th, but the definition of it is not an agreed one. It's in fact, it's by, it's a definition provided by a fringe organization that wouldn't even be invited to a committee like this one to speak about anti-Semitism. So there are changes being made but they are the wrong changes. And on, in some cases, on things like the de definition of racial, racial trauma, which could be found on page 26 of this anti-racism let's talk, which is not anti-racism at all, it, uh, it talks about the, the experiences of black, indigenous, and people of color, and the definition just outright leaves out uh, uh, any, any mention of, of Jews, of Bosnians, of Armenians, um, of anybody who potentially experienced interrelational trauma, something that the de 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 definition was probably based on uh, when it came to fruition. So even the changes that are being made in government are the wrong changes. Um, so again, I, I ask, how on earth does a committee like this make recommendations to the government of Canada if the government of Canada, in fact, has a problem within that is being corrected with bigger problems? Thank you very much for that, for the, the question from the esteemed member. Again, I emphasize, we have a lot of hard work to do, and we in no way have it right in terms of ensuring that the IRA definition, which the Canadian Parliament, all parties approved, and which is accepted by most of our provincial governments. That is why, and thank you for the question, because it gives me the opportunity to talk about the handbook on the IRA definition that we hope to be releasing in June, that will be a clear explanation and interpretation of how the IRA definition needs to be used to underpin all of our anti-Semitism training. So you're quite correct to point out that even as some of our people try to make adjustments and improvements, we are still not where we need to be. Again, the hard work that needs to be done. I believe the commitment is there. I know that the new anti-racism strategy 2.0 will be launched soon. We know that the government is looking at uh, announcing their combating hate action plan. All of these provide an opportunity for an intensive campaign across not just the federal government, but provincial and municipal to actually get anti-Semitism well understood. What better time than now? 
want to just put on uh, put on record when, when this committee is making recommendations that some of the uh, Canadian anti-Semitism uh, or, or sorry Canadian anti-racism materials that are cited as additional reading come from uh, workbooks. Uh, one of them is entitled "Dismantling Racism," and, and this is this is what it says. It does mention uh, Jews, but only as a quick aside to say that Jews have opted to become white in order to benefit from white supremacy. Becoming white involves giving up parts of your original culture in order to get the advantages and privileges of belonging to a white group. This is the stuff that is cited by the government of Canada in teaching people about seconds. racism. I, 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 cannot, I cannot stress enough that this committee has no business making recommendations when the training itself in the government of Canada is racist in itself. Madam Chair, may I respond? Yes, okay, I wasn't sure if ahead. your signal was for me or for the member. Um, thank you very much again for pointing this out. Um, I think that there is no question that some of the material, much of the material, needs further reworking. And that is what my office is going to be doing, working with the public service right across uh, um, the, the, our network. Um, I think that what so Miss Lyons, why don't we leave the rest? Okay, we'll let it go and thank come back you to it. So thank much. you.